All right guys, so I'm gonna start off this video and just get straight to the point. I released a video about four months ago and I titled the video, the new Adidas Ultra Boost 2019s are terrible. I thought I was giving a good solid opinion on this shoe. So I post the video, the video goes up, not think anything of it because a lot of my videos haven't gotten a ton of views. And then I started noticing I was getting notification after notification sure. after sure. notification sure. and it's comments. And I'm thinking, this is awesome. Like I got a video now that's actually getting attention. But I soon realized that all press is not always good press. And to be honest, I'm, I'm looking here on, it's the new Adidas Ultra Boost 2019, our terrible review. So it's got 6,800 views. There's been some positive views and I appreciate all you guys that are positive, but they've, they've said some crazy stuff. Whether I'm talking about it not being a review, that it's just clickbait. Some people hated that I bashed the material because the mesh was ultra stiff and you had people saying, well, it's a performance shoe. What do you expect? And then I got some people saying that I was salty. I think somebody called me salty bracy boy. <laughs> that was, that was good. That was good. I got braces, I can't help it. I'm trying to get my teeth fixed, but thanks for noticing. And there's some people saying that I didn't even really review the shoe. I just gave my opinion firsthand. That's how I felt and that's what the shoe was and that's it. Guys, I get it. I know it probably wasn't my best video, but here's what happened. I got an email, I would say about a week before the shoes had actually released or when they were scheduled to release. I think it was Foot Locker or Adidas' website saying, saying, hey, if you want to cop your early pair, here's your chance. I'm a, I'm an Adidas Ultra Boost fan, so what did I do? I bought them. Some people were saying you didn't even look at the shoe before buying. That's why I always try to get the shoe in hand, yada, yada, yada. I get it, but I got these early, so I didn't know what the quality was going to be like. I opened Open up the box. And all the beautiful goddesses in the world were invited, all except for this one goddess. My first opinion, the shoe looked terrible. I've had numerous Ultra Boosts, so I know what an Ultra Boost feels like, I know what it looks like, I know what it should perform like. And after trying these on, it just didn't seem like your standard Ultra Boost that we're all used to. I don't know. Some people are mad because I reviewed it as a lifestyle shoe. In my opinion, it kinda is a lifestyle shoe. You wear it out in your life. I think with the stiffer materials after doing a little more research, maybe the stiffer material is geared more for running. But I also consider uh, what I wear it as is a standard lifestyle shoe. And you guys went hard on these comments. <laughs> and I've had people that said stuff, I comment back. I think I've commented on almost every single comment, whether it's bad or whether it's good. Like this one, wear your junk Nike, bro. If you're gonna insult me, you gotta learn how to spell. People saying I'm not a professional and then you just shut your hell up. Someone doesn't like change. There's other people that really understood what I was talking about. I don't think overall that the Adidas Ultra Boost is a terrible shoe. I'm a huge Ultra Boost fan. 4.0s are seriously my favorite and the most comfortable shoes ever. I just felt like the 2019 was a step back. That's just my opinion. But I'll be honest, like whenever I got this shoe in hand and then I opened the box and realized how terrible in my eyes that it was, reviewing it for the quality standpoint of it just went out the window. And my head was just geared more towards bashing the shoe. I love everything about that, but I think that it was portrayed as that. Maybe I didn't come off the most positive. It has 35 likes. I'm gonna go ahead and like that. And uh, 216 dislikes. I laugh at a lot of these comments just because you can't take things too seriously. And everybody has their own opinion and everybody's a critic and that's fine. That's why we do this. And it, it really, it doesn't bother me at all. I just want to kind of clear the air a little bit. I'm always gonna tell you how I feel. And whenever I saw this shoe and it came out and it had the, had the stains, and around the sock liner, the material was fraying really bad. You had, it was like the stitching, it was coming apart. And I hadn't even done anything yet. I just pulled the shoe out of the box. By the way, go check out my uh, latest video I just posted the other day of why I'm switching to New Balance. Thank you. But whenever I got on StockX's website, we'll get off this ugly mug. And so I get on StockX's website Bro, look at this. Do you not see that stitching frame? Like, come on. 
Like, they, you, you couldn't even get away with it on a stock X picture. The lines just don't even look clean, not even in a picture for a third-party reseller website. I understand how, explain, like, even from the back, you can see right here. So you can see the back right here, over here. This looks all nasty. I'm gonna get bad comments again. That's okay. And for those out there that I make fun of the cattywampus heel. I just think the word cattywampus is cool. I can't even spell cattywampus. I just wanted to do this video just to sort of clear the air for everybody. I'm still gonna title this video the Adidas Ultra Boost 2019 still the worst shoe ever. You might not like it, it's okay. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this video. Let me know what you think of this new setup. The lighting's not as good. So leave a like, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Let's say if this video gets 100 likes, I will buy the Adidas Ultra Boost 2019 again in the Oreo colorway and do more of a deep dive review and on foot review so you guys can see. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Make sure to love life, love God, and love each other. God bless to all you. Keep the comments coming. I love it. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great night. Stay safe. Peace.